Hi, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and here's a story um, about gun sales. And apparently, what they're saying here is that liberals are starting to prep more and more the way conservatives and uh, conspiracy theorists and whatever they call us have been doing. I looked all about certain that Hillary Clinton was going to win the presidency. Nervous gun rights advocates reported stockpiling guns and ammunition they feared would no longer be available if the Democrat won the White House. The threat of the Clinton presidency, along with several recent mass shootings, has led to 18 straight months of records for the FBI's National Instant Criminal Background Check system for people seeking a permit to buy a firearm. Many were, were concerned that the government would enact regulations restricting their access to guns. But since Republican Donald Trump, who was endorsed by the National Rifle Association and supports gun rights, won the White House in November, gun shops anticipate sales would taper off. Shares of major gun companies fell, anticipating a slowdown. If that doesn't seem to be the case, on Black Friday this year, and ICB processed a record 185,713 background checks. Most in a single day in 20 years since the system has existed. And some of those gun buyers are what the industry calls non-traditional, namely minorities, gay people, and self-described liberals. Uh... Well, unless you uh, count the uh, Ted Kaczynski types living in shacks with all the technology, I don't think there's a lot of liberals really doing this. Some of these gun buyers are what the industry calls non-traditional. Well, I already did that. In the more conservative gun world, there's definitely a feeling that liberals hate guns. Yeah, you think? Liberal Gun Club spokesperson Larry Smith told BBC. She said there's been a spike in inquiries into her organization after Trump's election and that paid membership has increased 10%. So they're scared of Trump. I've had feelers on what liberals are really scared about with Trump is they're afraid they're going to start losing their goodies. Government supply, go supply goodies. That's much most of it. People have expressed concern that in an increase, an increase in hate crimes since Trump's election could escalate in something more violent, Smith said, than they want to be prepared. Yes, there are liberals who dislike guns, but the vast majority of them have never been around guns, don't know much about other than what they are told, Smith wrote in their organization's website. Smith has also been working with non-traditional gun groups like White Guns Matter and Pink Pistols. Pink Pistols support, promotes legal, safe, and responsible use of firearms for self-defense of the sexual minority community. The group, which has 45 chapters, chapters nationwide, calls itself a shooting group that honors diversity and teaches queers to shoot. Although it was worked in conjunction with the NRA, Pink Pistols considers itself nonpartisan. So, mostly this is just about uh, minorities, not so much about white liberals, apparently. Uh, and good for them. Uh, this is a good sign. It means we'll have more Second Amendment supporters, I would think, than we have had. I don't think we need a revolution here. I'm <laughs> hoping we're not going to have 
Thank you, man. Fight Chris again. That disrupt J20 that I mentioned. They're bad news. So, you know, get your guns and take care of them. And learn how to use them responsibly. Don't play them at nobody. Uh, make sure you unload it when you when you trip over something, etc. Learn to use them responsibly. That's the key here. If you're all pissed off and you go grab your gun, put it back and... I don't know, grab a pill or something, smash that against the wall. At least nobody will be hurt then. Alright, thanks Mars. Thanks for watching. It's an interesting story.